What's up, my friend? Welcome to this amazing day, my friend. You got to feel that sun, my friend. You got to soak up that energy, my friend, because it's all about the energy, my friend. So get your energy, energy, energy. Get it up, my friend. Get it up one time for greatness, my friend. Get your energy up one time for excellence, my friend. Get your energy up one time for winning, my friend, because you are a winner. That's what I'm here to remind you about, right? Because each and every day of this new year, and we almost one third of the way through, my friend. So you got to get on. You got to get with it. Because I heard that New Year's resolution. I heard you say 2023 is the year for me. You had so much conviction when you said that. I believed you. And I know you believed you too. So I don't want you to stop now because I don't want you to make yourself a liar. I want you to be truthful. I want you to stand on your truth, my friend. I want you to be accountable for your words, my friend. So that's why I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you, my friend. But the first thing you got to do after you wake up and you give God the glory, all gratitude and humility, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for another chance at life. Then the next and most primary thing you got to do, my friend, you got to put on your amazing, my friend. Yes, you do. You need your amazing on, my friend, because that amazing becomes your body of armor, my friend, that protects you and shields you from the wiles of the enemy, my friend. That is your protection, my friend. Never leave home without your amazing, my friend. And here's the thing. Amazing is available and accessible to us all, my friend. You got to put on your amazing because there's nothing wrong with amazing, right? So if you fail to put on your amazing, there's nothing wrong with amazing. It's just as potent and available as it's ever been. So if you don't put on your amazing, something has to be wrong with you, my friend. But that's okay. We are all flawed. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here, my friend, because it's so, so great when the underdog wins. And we are all the underdogs, my friend. But once you put on your amazing, you become the favorite, my friend. So that's why you got to put on your amazing. I got another tool for you to put in your toolbox today. I want to remind you because I see a lot of people getting a little stagnant, right? A lot of people started out real fast, like they run in the 40 yard dash, and then about at 20 yards, they start throttling down as if the speed is going to maintain on its own. I'm here to tell you it's not, my friend. I'm here to tell you, my friend, no progress, no reward, no progress, no reward. Let me explain, right? See, measuring progress is a lot like driving a car, right? And let me explain, right? Let's go deeper, right? See, once you take your foot off the gas pedal when you're driving, you could be going 50 miles an hour. But once you take your foot off the gas pedal you may look at this the speedometer look at the gauge and it may say still say 50 miles an hour so you think you cool you think the momentum is going to maintain on the zone but then if you look away and look back at it you'll gradually see the car start to decelerate it's going to start going down it's starting to slow down it's going from 50 to 48 to 45 to 43 to 40 you not staying the same and here's why because in life just like in driving a car you're either moving forward towards accomplishing your goals or you're moving backwards further and further away from accomplishing your goals. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, my friend. There's no such thing as staying the same. So I know when you took your foot off the gas pedal, you think I'm cool, I'm cruising, I'm in cruise control, but it's not. You're really decelerating right before your own eyes. So here's three reasons, my friend, right? Why you got to keep your foot on the gas, right? Number one, here's the thing. In order for you, right, to make consistent progress in and throughout your life, here's the thing. You need power. Yes, power. And when you hear power, I know you think of working out. And I'm not talking about external strength. I'm not talking about brute strength. When I say power, I'm talking about real power. And real power is not what the world tell you. Real power is organized thought and organize effort because once your thoughts are organized you're moving vertical right your actions are moving vertical so eventually you're going to break through but when your thoughts and your actions are lateral a double-minded man is unstable in all their ways you're just hustling backwards you you might as well be running on a treadmill moving real fast but not going anywhere right number two here's the thing 
See, focusing too much on old progress will prevent you from making new progress, my friend. Have a celebration for old accomplishments and let it go as if you never done anything. And now you start from kindergarten all over to create new progress, my friend. Don't stare at old progress for too long because it'll prevent you from making new progress. Did I tell you, my friend, no progress, no reward, right? And number three, here's the thing. You got to develop a greatness mindset, yeah. You know that mindset? A mind bold enough to believe that mental discipline, yeah, you heard me right. Mental discipline, yes, mental discipline is the key to maintaining consistent progress in and throughout your life, my friend. You got to gain mind control, my friend. You got to gain mental discipline because once you can control your mind, you control your life. And guess what else? You were born to be great.